YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Welcome back to the Phasmophobia Complete Map Guide Series. I'm covering Grafton Farmhouse today. We're going to be covering all of the Cursed Possession spawns, all the Breaker spawns, all the hiding spots, plus a couple other tips and tricks you might want to know about this map. So, without further ado, enough pitter patter, chitter chatter. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so uh, as per usual with this guide, I am playing on amateur presets, so we have all the hiding spots. Uh, I am playing custom settings so that I can show you all of the cursed possession spawns. And uh, yeah, but it, this is a, at the time of recording this, the Blood Moon event is still going on. It's it's wrapping up in a couple days, but uh, I'm gonna grab my camera here actually, uh, because even though I'm not getting any money, because when you turn on all of the cursed possessions to spawn, you lose any sort of money, uh, we can still get rewards for the Blood, the Blood Moon event. So, however, let's start out with uh, the Cursed Possessions. So when you first walk in to the house here at Grafton, you have the music box here on this shelf. You have the haunted mirror here on this wall. It won't normally look weird like this. This is just the Blood Moon decorations. And then over here in the dining room, you've got the tarot cards uh, here on the table. I love tarot cards. This map is the first map in this series. I know we skipped over um, Ridgeview, which we'll get to that in the next episode. Um, I just wanted to skip to this because of the event. Uh, so, the Ouija board spawns in the master bedroom. Sidebar, because I don't want to go all the way back over here. The breaker, one of the breaker spawns is in this room as well. It'll be on this wall. Also, since we're back here, this is a hiding spot. So, if you have these boxes in this closet, you can, uh, hide right here, okay? So, across the hall here, there is the monkey paw. Excuse me real quick while I'll take a photo. Alrighty, uh, the monkey paw is gonna be here on this ax. Alrighty, so up the stairs, you've got here in the nursery, here on this uh, uh, wardrobe thingy chest, uh, you've got the voodoo doll. You come across the hall into this bedroom, through the bedroom, into this closet, into the attic. You have a blood totem. Uh, and then back here, you have the summoning circle, okay? Now, also, this is another breaker spawn room. So you have uh, another breaker spawn here along this wall. And since we're here, you have lockers for a hiding spot. And if those are full, you can just pop over here and chill. Now, I will say if you're a looper, any loopers in the comments, do not try to loop the ghost around this because the ghost can go through these boxes. So enjoy that one and i'm not entirely sure if that's the same for here but i would just leave this room out of the equation for looping the ghost all right so there's your hiding spots up here also we'll kind of touch on hiding spots as well in the next portion here uh this is a hiding spot again like in the last two episodes anything that breaks the ghost line of sight that's going to be a, a hiding spot so even if you wanted to get a little frisky and hide over here it's risky because the ghost is going to come in here like homie's doing right there. How you doing? And he's going to see you because your head isn't covered. Uh, over here, if, okay, so if you walk into the map up here and this chair is actually sitting underneath this window, it is not a hiding spot. But if you come over here, this is actually a hiding spot. Now, my viewers actually just reminded me of a great point that I will say, uh, I don't know if I said it in the previous episode, but in this episode, as always, anytime you're in a hiding spot, Make sure any of your electronics, your flashlight, if you have a camera or whatever, make sure you turn that stuff off. Because if you have it on, even if you're in a hiding spot, the ghost will detect that stuff and come to your location and kill you, regardless if you're in a hiding spot or not, okay? All right, it's it's turning on lights and stuff, so yeah. And I actually need to do this contract for the Blood Moon event, because otherwise if I leave, I'm not gonna get any of the points. Um, bless you. Well, that was a interaction photo. I'm gonna delete it. Uh, please don't do that, sir. Uh, why do you, what the, f what was that? Okay, whatever. Uh, all right, so, as I said at the, at the beginning, this map has three breaker spawns. So the first one is over by the Ouija board. Second one is gonna be up in the attic. Now the third one, which is more common, which is the case in this, contract uh it's gonna be through the kitchen here and in this room okay so you have a hiding spot right here next to this next to this mattress we also have the bone feels good okay 
And as far as any other hiding spots go, there's really not too many, okay? You, you got a couple, and I'll, I'll touch on those here in a minute, but since we're in the kitchen, uh, this countertop or kitchen island is where I like to loop the ghost. So if you've seen any of my streams or any of my videos on this map, um, this is where I normally bring the ghosts, and I'll bring them around for a loop, and I will try to get the heck out of here. It's hunting already. Oh, look at that. I'm going to utilize a hiding spot because I don't have anything on my person to uh, to figure out what type of ghost this is, let alone defend myself. All right, we have a ghost photo, but that, I mean, the ghost model was kind of odd, so I'm not going to 100% say that it's a phantom, but we'll keep it there for now. Okay, we are an amateur, so the, the hunts are going to be very short, which is good. All righty, moving on. Uh, it, in the dining room area, there's not really any hiding spots, dude. I mean, you could, again, cheeky hiding spot would be right here. But a lot of times the ghost pathing will lead it around here. Um, but if it goes down the steps in this way, like it just did in that last hunt, um, you should be okay. All right. In the living room. I'm here. Oh, my God, it's fast. I just got doing... I just got done doing the weekly, and uh, the ghosts are extremely slow in this week's challenge. So this sounds freaking terrifying for me. Well, while we're in here, uh, this back room, the laundry room, you got a hiding spot right here so long as these these boxes are right here, okay? So there's your hiding spot there. Uh, here in the twins bedroom, you don't really have a hiding spot. I don't know if I, this is similar to the room upstairs. Again, cheeky hiding spot, but again, it's not really reliable. But you can come back here and you can hide behind these boxes right here. That, that'll that work. I'm fairly certain. You know what? Honestly, the way that the devs change this stuff a lot of times without telling us, it wouldn't surprise me, bro, if you use those cardboard boxes one time and the ghost just comes right through it. It's haunting again. Well, I'll tell you what, let's test it. Let's find out. Okay, well, the hunt's over. All right. So, yeah. And then let's go into the master bedroom here real quick. As far as hiding spots go. Uh, you have a bathroom here. No hiding spots here. But you can get away with chilling right here. But outside of that, not really anything else. This could actually work. This right here next to the bed. This isn't an official hiding spot, but this is one of those makeshift hiding spots that um, that will work. So I think that's going to do it. We're going to call this one a phantom here, but that is all you need to know about uh, Edgefield. Um, let me make sure I said that right, uh, because my brain is just not turned on. Uh, yeah, Grafton Farmhouse, baby. So uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so that's all you need to know. If I left any any important details out or if you know any secrets about Grafton Farmhouse, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to uh, I love to hear about it. But uh, if you want to know how to easily identify or rule out every single ghost, you can check out this video right here. Or if you missed the last episode where we covered uh, Edgefield, you can check out this episode right here. All right, I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching.